Okay, we're going to look at the Chinese postman problem here. Now, this is a problem where obviously a postman needs to set out from the post office, which I've got here, and he's got to walk along every single edge. And he's got to do it in the shortest possible way. So one way that I could do it if I didn't have these extra parts here, if I didn't have this loop here and this F here, is I could just walk around from the post office to A to C along this road, down this road, and back to the post office. He's got to get back to where he started. Of course, you can go the other way. However, with these extra loops in here, it creates more problems. Because I'm visiting every single edge, what I want to do is I want to use Euler's um, theorem or the Eulerian paths and circuits. And that's basically says that it would be able to do it if every single vertex was even. So if I was to ignore this part here, there's still the even vertex, two's got, C's got two and so on. But because A has three vertices coming out of it, it creates a problem. And C has also got three vertices. So that means I can go to A, I can leave A, but I've got to come back at some point and travel along some of the roads twice. D's okay, D's got two vertices, so that's okay. But C has one, two, three coming out of it. And B has one, two, three coming out of it as well. So these are the problems because of the odd number of vertices. But the Chinese postman problem basically wants me to pair up A and C. And if I pair up A and C, it wants me to pair up B and E. Now, if I go along A and C, that's 9. That's the shortest one anyway. And B to E is 7. And that gives me a total of 16. Now, there's more pairings I could make. I could actually do A to B. Now, even though that's not direct, I can do that, A to B. Now, I could go from A to B by going all the way around like this. Or I could just go along there, which is 15. If I connect A and B together, I connect C and E together. And the shortest way from C to E is by going along here, which is 11. So this then gives me 26. And finally, I could pair A and E together. So 9 and 11 is 20. And this way is 22. So A to E gives me the largest, which is 20. And if I connect A and E, B and C are going to be connected together. And the shortest distance from B to C is 18 that way. And no, that's more that way. So 18, I go that way. Give me a total of 38. What I want to do now is choose this shortest distance here, 16. And what this is now going to tell me to do is to draw in an extra path between A and C. So I'm going to go like this. And that's 9, because that's my shortest distance. And an extra path between B and E. So I'm going to come down like that. And that's also going to be 7, because that's the shortest way. And finally, I'm going to take all the total of all of these numbers for six, seven, so all the numbers I started with that were in green, and this is 10, seven, and so on. I'm going to add all those together because I know that I've got to walk all the way around every single path. So I've got to have all of these numbers included as a minimum. You can check by adding up, but I think if we add up all the green numbers, we're going to get 62. And then we're going to say, plus, we need to walk along this line an extra time and this line an extra time. So I've got an extra 16. So it's going to take me 78 to do the Chinese postman problem. That's to start at the post office, go along every single street at least once and get back to where we started. Now, if you want to actually do this, it's now a matter of trial and error. So I'll probably go along here like this, up to see 
back along here, then along the extra one that we put in. Now I can just go straight across to E, down, up, down, up, and then back here. So you can see that I've highlighted each of the red original lines once, and I've drawn this extra loop in. So I've got that 62, which was all the original ones, and the extras, and it makes 78. And that's the Chinese postman problem.